So, welcome to the Hotel Alua, Cala de Mallorca. A first ever visit for us at this hotel. You're gonna see exactly what I'm gonna see. You're gonna hear my opinions, and at the end of the video, you can make up your own opinion. So hopefully I'm gonna give you a lot of information about the hotel, things you can do, places you can go and visit, sites you can come and see, tours you can take so lots of useful information if you think about coming to this hotel or this resort or even this island for the very first time as always you will get my honest opinion I think we'll put quarter past three in the morning half past seven flight two and three quarter hours to get over here and then an hour and a half transfer so when you get to the hotel you're feeling tired a little bit stressed the three girls that were on reception at the hotel when we got there they were absolutely fabulous so helpful so friendly nothing was a bother we were bang into holiday mode straight away. They were absolutely brilliant. So the hotels, I think it's eight floors the hotel has got. We're on the sixth floor. There's two lifts are in use all the time. Be aware, you might have to wait a while, for, especially in peak holiday season. Thankfully for us, all the kids have just gone back to school. The room itself, I think you would call it basic, but the bed was nice and comfortable, quite firm. Flat screen telly on the wall. Nice big walk-in shower. As well as the balcony, which was superb because it gives you access to this morning, noon and night. It had a nice city there as well, so you could sit down and relax. This is a four star hotel, but it is important to mention, four star in the UK is different to four star here. I think if this hotel had been in the UK, you would have been looking at a, a three star. So don't be expecting too much. It is what it is, but we've been very, very happy here so far. So it's really nice to get here, to sit down, look at all of that view. Don't forget Grandad. Don't forget Grandad. The only one thing uh, that really annoyed me when we came in, we had to pay for five nights a £33 tourist tax. Didn't know anything about that.
kids club as well. So yesterday, our grandson went to the kids club from I think it was 11 o'clock until two o'clock. So give his parents time to sort of chill out and relax together. And apparently he had a whale of a time as well. So what more could you want? Well, I couldn't make my mind up, so... <laughs> Not everything. But enough. <laughs> So the sun has now cleared that cloud and what a stunning sight that is but well worth an early morning walk up here i mean at the end of the day this is absolutely stunning So plenty of sun loungers, four really fantastic swimming pools, two nice and shallow for the kids. And two ideal for swimming. entertainment on the night every night there's something different the first night there was karaoke which I'm not a fan of but uh, last night they had a magician on and uh, him and his assistant were very very good and they also have like an events coordinator I think you would call her uh, she's very very good but very very loud okay, okay. So if you want a quiet lie by the pool, make sure you don't lie anywhere near where she is. I always check TripAdvisor before I go anywhere, stop anywhere. And there was some quite negative results about the hotel and especially about the food. I'll be quite honest, the food I have found absolutely superb. A massive selection of food, something there for everyone. And I'll tell you something, we really got stuck in, did we not? So we've got pizza, we've got pork loin, we've got veal, we've got a few chips. 
So we've got ice cream, cheesecake, mousse, and a bit of syrup. I've got absolutely nothing but praise for the food. Where some of these reviews are coming from, I do not know. But uh, if you're coming here and you like your food, you'll be more than well catered for here. It is important to stress, we paid full price for our holiday. The hotel don't know I'm doing a review. They haven't asked me to do a review. So this is a completely independent review. So just out of the hotel, I would say less than a five minute walk away, you've got a couple of souvenir shops and you've got a supermarket as well. A good 10 minute walk away, You've got a massive shopping centre. It's like a warren. It doesn't look very big at first, but when you walk into it, it's a bit like a TARDIS. The more you walk into it, the more shops, uh, souvenir shops, clothes shops that you see. Slap bang in the middle of it is a children's play area. You've got mini golf, you've got uh, bouncy castles, miniature racing cars, everything that you would need to keep a youngster entertained. You can book a lot of excursions as well. To be quite honest, we haven't so much fun by the pool, just chilling out and relaxing. Why bother? But they're there if you need them. I'm not quite sure if two and a quarter, two and three quarter hour flight over here from the UK. And then you get the bus over to the resort, which would have took an extra hour and a half, stopping at all the different hotels. We didn't fancy it actually, so you have got the option to book a private transfer, which we did. And they cut the time down in half, which we found very, very useful. Having said that, it's not cheap. They'll take you here, they'll come and pick you up as well. So that option's available if you want to take it. Good morning. Well, the sun doesn't always shine in paradise. We just had a bit of a thunderstorm here. So we went out on a boat trip this morning. Lovely weather when we went. Perfect weather when we set back and then halfway back the waves got choppier the rain started the thunder started and what a nightmare getting off the boat i'm just pleased to be alive to be quite honest as regards negatives about this hotel i think the only thing for me that it's lacking is an indoor soft play area because when it rains there's absolutely nothing for the kids to do inside there's an indoor gym there's an indoor swimming pool but obviously that's for adults so for me an indoor soft play area for the bad days few and far between that there may well be would be an ideal addition uh, the room itself is basic but it's big enough nice big television lots of british channels there is a safe in there i think it's three pound fifty a day extra to use the safe I didn't mention the food before. I thought it was very, very good initially, and I still stand by that there now. Lots of selection. Uh, no matter what your food tastes are, there's something here for everybody. So the entertainment crew do a really good job, whether it's outside, whether it's inside. Day, night, they're always on the go especially the lady that's in charge. Yes, she's very, very loud. But I'll tell you something, she's very good. She's very hard working. She is a bundle of energy and fun. If 
view from the room. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed getting up every morning, sitting down here, watching the sun rising. When I've had a bit too much sun coming up, sitting down, putting my feet up, and the sun then goes over the top of the hotel, so nice and cool. And again, looking out on that. Very few negatives. We spent a lot of time next to the uh, kids' pool because my three year old grandson spent a lot of time in there. Only thing is, lifeguards come round in the morning and any inflatables left in there, they will collect them all up and basically get rid of them. If you bring inflatables down with you on a morning, make sure when you leave, take them with you. Well, well last night I was hoping to watch the sun setting over the mountains, but unfortunately with the clouds, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So all that means is I'm going to have to come back. I ain't got no problem with that. We've spent most of our time down at the pool. A little baby pool for me, a three year old grandson. So, these were our <laughs> sun lounges here, and you had the uh, little snack bar that was open there, half past ten every morning for drinks and light snacks. <laughs> So from here, we had a lovely view, all the way out to sea. If you're going to do a boat trip, which is fantastic by the way, pick your day, book your tickets on the day, you can see what the, the weather's like, you can see what the uh, sea conditions are like. Yesterday it was very choppy going out and quite rough coming back. Pick your day and book your tickets on that day. So as well as the palm trees, the umbrellas, you do have a lot of these really big trees which you can shelter from the heat. Because it does get hot here, really hot. I mean, we're here in September and the temperatures have been like hitting 30 degrees, which for me is far too hot. And all of a sudden, the sun begins to rise. And if you come here, and if you don't get up for that every morning, you really are missing out. I never ever get sick of looking at that. Really nice time, really nice family time as well. Uh, something money cannot buy. I didn't get time to film much of the room, unfortunately, which I normally like to do when we're going to a new hotel. But because we were tired, and uh, we basically bought straight into the hotel room, dumped all our stuff, and we just wanted to chill out and relax. But there was plenty of space in there, plenty of cupboard space, clothes, plenty of places to hang up stuff. Inside the bathroom, two massive big drawers underneath the sink in order to put all your toiletries. It wasn't the cleanest. This is no reflection on the cleaner, who comes in every day, by the way. Cleans out all your room, empties your bins, brings you in clean towels. It's a maintenance thing, like grime in it tiles that needs to be cleaned out or preferably redone but as i mentioned before yes it's a four-star hotel but not a four-star english standards so first time all inclusive for us uh would i do it again mm, i don't know uh not because i haven't enjoyed it oh i've really enjoyed it point being i've enjoyed it too much so a really nice place for children to come pool's fantastic the only thing for me that's missing out is like an indoor soft player. It's maybe it's too hot for some kids, so it'd be so nice to stop in the cool in a nice soft play area. Kids will be happy, and if the kids are happy, they're going to make sure you're happy as well. But one thing I think was nice to see, staff always on cleaning. Morning. And there's a young lad there, sweeping up all the rubbish. 
getting away all the dust from the pool. Uh, cleaning the walkways, cleaning around the pool area, picking up rubbish. Is it perfect? No. There is little things, especially in your room, your shower area, that could be improved on. But the staff I've seen here are all trying their hardest, doing their best. And the entertainment staff, what a job they do. Staff in the restaurant are really, really good as well. And uh, not only the chefs, uh, who look very, very professional, but the staff serving on clearing plates away. The second you were finished with something, somebody was there taking it away. One guy in particular, an older guy, super efficient, super friendly, but he also had a bit of banter with the guests and all, and he was great. Really did a good job, and we thought he was absolutely brilliant. So would we come back here again? I would say definitely yes. Had my reservations at first, but once we've had a good look around, seen the different things that you can do, the different trips you can do, the shopping facilities, the children's entertainment and all that keeps the kids happy, I would definitely come back here again. Food's been superb, staff's been very, very good, very, very friendly. If you're the type of person that likes to lie next to a swimming pool, look out onto a fabulous view. You enjoy your food, you want food and drink on tap, morning, noon and night. You couldn't get a better hotel than the one that we are stopping at. Certainly couldn't get a better view. So if you enjoyed the video, really would appreciate a big thumbs up. I'll tell you something, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.